What's up, YouTube? Me and Lexi's on our way to the dentist. So, Justin thought this might be a funny vlog, and uh, we're gonna see how it works out. Um, she has to have her number five and number 12 removed, and they have to do surgery to remove them. It's a oral surgery. So, um, we're gonna see, the bone's broken. There you go. We're gonna see um, what this medication does to Lexi. Um, we, so, long story short, Lexi got her braces on, what, about a month and a half ago. And she has a crowded mouth. Um, what is, what else is going on? Um, You're a, uh, a midline thing. Yeah, she has a midline issue her so her front teeth and her bottom teeth her top and bottom don't line up properly um, she has um, a couple other issues um, her canine uh, decided to come out at the top uh, so when she smiles it sort of sticks out um, so we've been talking about braces now for you know a couple of years with her dentist and it was finally time to get braces so long story short, we uh, she went to the orthodontist and got the braces put on last month. Um, they said, well, they said everything was fine with putting the braces on, but she had to um, she had to have two of her top molars removed, um, and they don't have braces or brackets on those. The two teeth that she's having removed don't have braces brace braces on them. Um, and then her canine doesn't have a brace on it either because they don't want to start pulling that canine down until she has room in her mouth for the rest of the teeth uh, for that tooth to come into. Um, so over the next 18 months to 24 months, they are going to fix her midline issue. Um, they're going to pull that canine down. Um, and then uh, they have to adjust her jaw a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's going to be surgery. I think they're going to be able to do it with bands, but um, she's got a side something going on. So, um, long story short, I don't know if uh, if um, teeth are hereditary or not. I, like, I don't know if she got that from. Uh, I, I've been very fortunate with my teeth. I haven't, I don't even think I've had a cavity um, for the most part, but um, she does have a really crowded mouth. So there's not enough mouth, not enough room in her mouth for all of her teeth. Um, but she, uh, she's doing good with the braces. How do you like them so far? I can talk, you can talk for a second, so. Uh, they're all good. <laughs> you don't have much to say. And for everybody who don't know, Lexi's been in a few videos with the Bell Life, but she is sort of quiet and shy. She doesn't have a lot to say usually, but um, she's, uh, she's, uh, how, you're what, 13 and in seventh grade? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have a lot to say. She's not super thrilled over the filming of this. Uh, we don't know how wacky it's going to make her, so we're hoping really wacky, to be honest with you. I really could enjoy some uh, funny laughs on the way home. Personally, I'm not, but it's just personal. <laughs> I don't know. It might be something you could watch back later and laugh at yourself about, like in 10 years. Mm -hmm. When you got a pretty smile. you got a pretty smile now, but when your teeth are all straight. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But um, we're on our way. I had to pick her up from school. Uh, I had to pick her up from school and then um, the dentist the oral surgeon that's in her in our insurance um, we have to travel for he we don't have a local oral surgeon that ex, that is in our like I don't know what HMO or like you know you have to find somebody that's within your insurance carrier so we have to we got about an hour drive there and then about an hour drive home so uh, it should be interesting. We'll have to see how it goes. And um, I don't think they're going to let me back there while they're doing the surgery, while they're removing the teeth. Um, I don't know if you can see. Can you see which ones it is? Which one don't have the bracket? I think he said it was behind the canines. Um, but that's the that's the tooth she has that has decided to grow where it wasn't supposed to. Um, but we're.
we're pretty okay. excited because uh, we were they the orthodontist wanted these two teeth out as soon as possible so we could start moving everything down they weren't sure if we could get in within the first three months of her getting her braces on so we're really excited that we were able to find a, a oral surgeon that would get us in quickly number one I think we I, I scheduled the appointment when um, the day after she got her braces on and then um, we went in Tuesday for the consultation and then it's Thursday so this is March 9th today um, it's Thursday and she's uh, getting the teeth removed today so um, I guess what we'll do is we'll update you as we go and um, probably next time you see us we'll be uh, on the way home and she might be loopy but she's a she's a little sleepy now they gave her something to relax or just a low dose something and just to keep her from panicking uh, on the way in um, but they it was a great facility they really explained everything to her and anyways I can go on and on and on but all right well we'll be back after the teeth are removed and Lexi's all jacked up so we'll see how it's gonna go see you soon We've been in the car now, it's 5.13 and we're in Walton. So we're about 15 minutes from the house and she has been snoozing. She is completely out. Uh, I don't wanna wake her up. I know the doctor said she had about three, three and a half hours um, until she's gonna really feel what they did. Cause she, right now she's all numb from all the shots they gave her. So I'm just trying to uh, let her sleep as much as possible. I do have to run to the pharmacy and get a prescription um, before she can even take any medication. So uh, I, my plan is to drop her off at the house, um, run down to the pharmacy, get her prescriptions, get something quick and easy for dinner because uh, it's 5.15 now, um, and then hopefully hightail it back to the house before she um everything's worn off uh get her something to eat because they said something light on her belly uh with the medicine so because she hasn't had anything since breakfast this morning uh which was that's a little bit of a fib she told me on the way we were like one minute okay funny story so not so funny when it happened but sort of funny now we're like the, do, the, the dentist is an hour and 10 to 15 minutes depending on traffic and lights. So we're like an hour and five minutes into this trip, right? And she tells me, she says, mind you, she's had like a, something to calm her down because they are, <laughs> because they want, they want them to be calm when they come in. They don't want them to be anxious, I guess. So she tells me, she's like, mom, I might've had something to eat at lunch. And I'm like panic mode because then I, I have no idea. You know, I'm not a physician. I have no idea why they don't want them to eat anything before, you know, putting them under. Um, and I'm like, what? She's like, I might, I, she was like, I forgot that I wasn't supposed to eat. I think I ate like two Oreos, not the inside, not the cream, she says, just the chocolate part. I'm like, dear God, I just drove an hour and five minutes for this doctor to potentially tell me that we have to reschedule because this child it couldn't resist the chocolate part of the Oreo. I did not even know what to say to her. I was mad, like furious, not because she ate the chocolate part of the Oreo, but because, you know, we drove an hour and five minutes. Fuel is expensive. Gas is expensive. Uh, and she waited to tell me until we were five minutes from the dentist. And I have no clue what the dentist is going to say. He could tell me to go reschedule. He could tell me to jump in a lake because I should have called earlier when she had told me. So I'm like, oh, should we tell him? Should we not? And of course we have to tell him because I Google what happens if you eat before oral surgery. And it says something about like aspirating on your stomach whatever or I don't know it was a lot of like really smart terminology that I'm not 
you know, familiar with. So I'm like, shoot. So of course we sit in the doctor's office and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to tell them that she ate something at, you know, noon. And at this point it was like 3.40. We were already, you know, half an hour past our appointment time. I'm like, well, three hours. I, I mean, I think that would probably be okay. So four o'clock they call us back and they're like, so you haven't had anything to eat or drink in six hours, right? Other than water and, or a little water with the, you know, the medicine we had you take. And I just look at Lexi. I'm like, oh my gosh, this kid is killing me. She's going to put me in an early grade. I'm like, no, Lexi, you got to tell them. She's like, well, I did have like two of the chocolate part of the Oreo. I'm like, yes, she didn't eat the center, but she did eat the chocolate part. They're like, oh, that's okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I've been like Googling and like panicking that she was going to aspirate this whole time. And it's not even a big deal. Like, she, like they were like, well, she would have ate the cream part. That would have been it. Not, they, they were joking with us, of course. But um, I was like, oh my lands, this kid. So that was my little story. So anyways, she's she's doing great. I mean, she's tired and, you know, she's going to sleep for a while. I doubt she'll be awake the rest of the evening. She might get some ice cream down. I don't even know if she'll eat. I'm not even sure that she will do that. Um, but it's behind us. And, you know, oral, oral surgery sucks. There's no way around that. Like, I think surgery period sucks. But I'm not a fan on anything to do with my teeth. Like, I don't want anybody messing with my mouth. I, you know, cleanings every six months. I'm good. That's all she needs. Um, but this child has had quite a bit of dental work with having a crowded mouth. Um, sorry about the shakiness. I'm holding the phone with my hand, but without a, having a crowded mouth, you have the potential to have cavities regularly. Um, we're hoping that these braces over the next two years fix that and give her teeth some space, but her teeth are like right on top of each other. And some of them are actually even, um, like turn to, fit in the slot that they've been given and there's not even room for it. Um, now Alyssa had braces back in, I think she was 14. I think she was in middle school and she had them on for 18 months and, um, she didn't have quite as many issues as Lexi's had as far as like the alignment of the mouth being off and, Alyssa had, um, like when you bite, like your bottom teeth should sort of touch the top teeth. Um, it should, there, there shouldn't be a huge space between like the two teeth. Alyssa's chin was back further than it should have been. So they had to, they had to adjust that with bands and, uh, it was a whole like ordeal. But Lexi's is just mainly, um, her bite is just off center. Uh, it's sort of weird, but they, they, they were talking like where the Donis was talking and he was like, well, it's like a tooth and a half, like off center. So her bite is not correct at all. Um, and they're trying, they're going to adjust that with these braces. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to give you a really cool before and after, uh, her teeth. Um, I might have a couple of pictures I can throw in to show you some befores and then I guess it'll be see she's cut getting ready to come up on her third month sorry this guy behind me is crowding um so she'll she'll be going back to the orthodontist in April to get them adjusted again so she's got another I don't know year and a half before they come off or a little longer um but we want to take you guys on the journey with us and oral surgery sucks but she got through it. She's she's a trooper. She wasn't really nervous at all. Not even last night. I was like, are you nervous? And she was like, nah. She's like, I know they got to come out, Mom. Um, now, Alyssa, her dentist actually pulled her teeth out. Like, no, nothing. I mean, they, they obviously numbed the gum. But she went in. He was like, I can pull those. And he just did, like, that fast. Uh, no oral surgery or nothing. She was like, Mom, I would have much rather been put out, but she didn't get that option. Uh, 
So Lexi sort of got the Dalai Lama of dental treatment just by being put out in our family. But uh, it was real nice for y'all to stop in and, you know, hang out with us while we went and got her, um, her teeth taken care of. I, you know, me, Justin and Trey, we appreciate y'all more than you know. It, it means a lot to us that you guys hang in there with us and, um, just, just being part of our family means a lot to us. Uh, and you know, all the prayers that you guys send out when things are like this are going on, we appreciate. Um, we, we definitely would like it if you guys would all make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I got an email today that I was reading. I haven't gotten to answer it yet. I actually opened it up as they were willing her out to me. Um, and he said like that he wasn't getting notifications. He wasn't, um, he wasn't even sure if he was still subscribed. So make sure that you are still subscribed. I know YouTube does some kind of, uh, algorithm thing every once in a while where they go in and, you know, sometimes I think they try to get the bots out of there and instead they actually get the real people out sometimes. So make sure you're subscribed and, um, hit that notification button so that you get notified when we have new videos coming out. Uh, be sure you watch, be sure to watch the Ask the Bell Life. Um, you know, you're right here on the vlog with us now. And then the, uh, the Bell Life Bangs channel. Of course, there's always really crazy stuff going on with that channel. Um, you know, to, I just, I actually really enjoy that channel. It's a, it's a lot of entertaining, um, facts and the guys are pretty funny. I mean, I, I've been with Justin for almost 10 years and he still makes me laugh. Uh, for some reason it makes me laugh harder when somebody's beating him with stuff, but I think that might be a little bit of karma coming out, but I'm kidding. I hate it when he gets hit sometimes. Um, you know, check out, um, and, and if you're not a member of the bellife.com, definitely go check it out. Uh, I know we have some freebies over there that you can watch. Uh, we have, apparently we have somebody putting freebies out on YouTube. Uh, be sure not to watch those though. <laughs> Let's not line the pocket of anybody who doesn't, you know, hasn't put in the work for it. Uh, you know, me, Justin, and Trey, we work really hard to give you guys entertaining uh, content. If you're a family member, we want you guys to have all the perks that come with that. Um, but if you're that person still in content, you know, it's going to suck to be you one day. Because what goes around comes around and we're going to figure out who you are eventually. So, um, so be sure to go over and check out the bellife.com. Um, even if you're not a member, go check out the freebies. You might think that you're not going to like it at all and, um, enjoy it. Uh, it is pretty funny. I will say, uh, the wiffle ball bat a couple of weeks ago, the guys got the crap beat out of themselves. I mean, literally like they were just going at it. It was the freaking funniest thing I think I've seen in a long time. As, as much as I hate to say that, I don't know why that video had me literally, I mean, I, like I couldn't even stand up straight. I had tears coming down my face. Um, the guys ended up with these ginormous bruises because they were like really hitting each other. Um, but it was hilarious. I mean, just the funniest video. I, I still watch it back every once in a while when I'm editing videos just to laugh. But, and I know that sounds awful, but it was so funny. So go check out the bellife.com. That is not a freebie video, but if you join, you can watch them as many times as you want. Um, and, uh, you know, we appreciate you guys more than you know. It, it really does mean a lot to us that you hang in there with us. So I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm not going to do a Justin. I think I have a couple of times, but uh, we will see y'all soon. And thank you for all your prayers for this little girl. She appreciates it. She's, she's a tough chick and a lot of people don't know, but she actually was, um, she's not was. she is super smart, but she, uh, they want her to, to join the honor society in her school. Um, she's gets excellent grades. So she's super excited about that. She has to write out an essay and do all that stuff that goes along with that. But it, I think it's the junior honor society. We just got the letter today. Um, be sure to, to check us out and we'll see you next time. Bye.